Hey guys, what is up? It's Duncan, and today I'm here with a tutorial on how to jailbreak your iPhone or iPod Touch using Red Snow. Now, you guys might know Red Snow, that's a program used before to jailbreak, but it's been updated for 3.1.2, um, and it allows some really cool things such as changing your boot logo. So, yeah, let's get this one started. Okay guys, so before we begin, we gotta do a couple things. Obviously, first of all, we're going to need to download Red Snow. But before we do that, I wanna make sure that you can go ahead and do this, okay? So, so there's a couple things that you need to do. One, you need to be running either a Windows PC or an Intel-based Mac. If you have a PowerPC Mac or a Linux computer, it will work, but not right now. Um, they're still working on adding that functionality um, I don't know exactly when it will be ready, but it will be ready fairly soon. So if you've got one of those computers, you might need to look, wait a little bit. Um, and also, if you have an iPod Touch 3rd generation, Red Snow currently does not support it. Um, and even when it does, most likely it will be tethered, so it's not really going to be that different. So if you have an iPod Touch 3rd generation, kind of out of luck for the moment. Anyway, so if you have one of the supported devices and you're on either a Windows or an Intel-based Mac, you're good to go. So, you go ahead, come to this link, which I will have in the description. Um, and I will recommend, go ahead, read through this. Um, I should cover everything, but it never hurts to, you know, know just a little bit more about it. Um, anyway, so, go ahead, read if you like, and then you need to come to the download links. Now, there's going to be two download links, one for Intel-based Macs up top, and one for Windows down bottom. I'm, I'm using Windows 7 right now, so this will be for Windows. So, just download whichever you want, and uh, we'll go ahead and go to the next step. Okay. So now that you have Red Snow downloaded, um, just unzip it. I prefer to put it on my desktop as always, but you know, wherever's convenient to you. Now you're going to only need one more thing, and that is going to be your IPSW or your iPod or iPhone firmware. Uh, the firmware is real simple. Uh, if you don't know, it's obviously just what runs the device, and Red Snow is just going to uh, basically edit it very slightly uh, so that basically you can get Cydia and be jailbroken. So it's real simple. Um, now, there's a couple ways of getting the firmware. If you happen to have the firmware handy, you know, you've, you've, you've jailbroken before and you've saved it in a file, go ahead, you can just skip this next step. Just bring it out to your desktop. Um, otherwise, if you don't have the firmware, um, it's really simple. You can download it if you need to, but you really shouldn't have to because iTunes will automatically download it for you. Um, so if you have ever, if you've had your device for any amount of time, there's a really good chance that iTunes has, down, uh, has it saved. So to find that, um, in Windows 7, you're going to need to hit Windows key and R. Um, and this will open the run command. Um, and obviously the run command is in XP and Vista as well. You just open run, it doesn't matter how you do it. Okay. So now I'm going to want you to do this. It's very simple. You do percentage sign, app data, percentage sign. That simple. Okay, so just type it in exactly like that, then hit OK. Okay, so now you will see that we have uh, we go into the app data file. Okay, now it's real simple. You need to go now. I believe in XP it does not automatically put you here. Basically, you just need to go to Roaming, Apple Computer, iTunes, and then iPod Software Updates. Okay, so to say that again. You go into App Data, Roaming, Apple Computer, iTunes and iPod software updates. Might seem a little bit complicated, but it's not a big deal. Just go into that file and then you will see the IPSW and it would be your iPod. So in my case, it's iPod Touch second generation and it's the firmware 3.1.2. Okay? Very simple. So now I recommend go ahead and copying it. Leave the file in here, but just copy it and go ahead and put it on your desktop. So now that you have it on your desktop, we're ready to begin technically. Um, but there's a couple optional things you might want to consider before we actually begin the process. And that is boot logo and recovery logo. Um, now, one of the big things and probably the main reason you want to use Red Snow is that it supports boot logos and recovery logos and they're custom. Okay? So, before you begin, you might want to take a pause and go find one or go make one or whatever. Um, it's real simple. It just needs to be a PNG file. It's not huge and obviously 320 by 480. So make one, find one, whatever. Obviously you don't have to get one, but it's probably the main reason you're doing it. So as you see here, I have my two. So now you have Red Snow downloaded, you have your IPSW, and you have your boot logo and recovery logo. You're ready to begin. Okay, so now we are ready to begin. Now there's only uh, one thing, last thing you want to do. 
hopefully you guys figured it out but uh, yeah you're going to need to remember to take your iPod touch or iPhone and plug it into your computer via USB now, I've already got this done um, now be sure to if iTunes pops up make sure it's closed obviously you don't want iTunes running you want to have everything closed so now that you have your iPod or iPhone hooked up via USB it's time to go ahead and open up Red Snow so just go ahead and double click it now it's going to be really simple you just read it real qu quickly and then all you got to do is click browse okay now at this point look for the IPSW the firmware we just got um, wherever it is obviously mine's on my desktop so just go ahead and click it and hit open and just give it one second to process the firmware okay so now at this point it will give you a little prompt if you're on an iPod touch and this is very important to make sure that you're not on an updated iPod touch such as a third generation or a newer second generation okay now to check it's very simple as you can see here it says is this an MC model of the iPod touch second generation okay so at this point all you need to do is open up your iPod or iPhone obviously you're going to have an iPod um, hit settings general and about and on the bottom you will see your serial number and if it starts with MC then you do not need to use Red Snow because it is not supported that's the best way to do it and it's very simple so assuming that it is a older iPod touch second generation go ahead and you are good so you can go ahead and click no okay so now we're in Red Snow it's successfully identified the IPSW go ahead and click next now you give it just a minute it's going to it's going to prepare the jailbreak data so it's going to patch up the kernel and uh, do some other things this is really simple just give it a second now you can go through the options obviously you want Cydia um, you can leave the boot alone if you if you want to customize that you can but really just I would just leave it unchecked um, now you're going to need to go into the custom boot logo and custom recovery logo so obviously I have both you don't have to use this but that's probably a good reason so I'm going to go ahead and click my boot logo here and the same with my recovery logo. Um, now also you can do the already pwned option and that is to just add a new boot logo without having to re uh, re uh, re destroy, <laughs> re jailbreak your iPod or iPhone. Uh, so that's really simple. If you've already been jail if you're already jailbroken and you just want to add a new boot logo, you can just do that and then it'll it'll just be a lot quicker. But we're jailbreaking from scratch, so you're good. Now, go ahead and click next and now we'll go ahead and show you guys how to do it okay so once you get this pop-up it's going to be really simple all you're going to need to do is make sure that your iPod or iPhone is connected via USB and you're ready to begin okay so if you've ever done this before you've ever used Red Snow or some of the older jailbreak break programs you know what to do it's really simple just take your iPod and then you need to hold the home and the power button and you need to keep them held down until this message disappears might take you 20, 30 seconds or so. I'm going to go ahead and do it with you, okay? So one button hand up here, one down here, and you start holding it. It's really simple. Um, now you see it'll say slide to power off. Totally ignore that. And keep holding it. And in just a second, it'll start to reboot. And still keep holding it until that message totally disappears. Okay? So still keep holding it. Give it just one more minute and then you will see in just one second it will say connect to iTunes and you will be done so you can see here it does take there we go okay so now we're done here and now you see that it is uh, going through it and it's uploading everything and as you see here it was that simple now it says downloading jailbreak data and we're basically done um, as you see here it will probably take three four or five minutes something like that uh... To let red snow finish up but obviously you see that it says downloading jailbreak data um... it will take a minute because the ipod will have to reboot several times and itunes will recognize it and stuff but it's really simple you're done um... so like i said wait four or five minutes whatever um... and then basically your ipod will be totally the same as it was before the only difference will be that you will have Cydia and you also have a new boot logo so let me go ahead and cut here, let it finish up, and show you guys uh, the jailbroken device. Okay. So as you see here, guys, I have my custom boot logo. And, uh, yeah, it's finally restarting. So let's go ahead and give it just a minute, and it should be good. Um, so, yeah, guys, that's about it for Red Snow. Uh, 
You know, I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed with Red Snow. Uh, it works really nice, really fast, and everything. And here we go right here. So, it runs really nice and smooth. Um, and as you can see, guys, right down there, I have Cydia. So, as you see, guys, it's really nice, it's smooth. Um, it does not take very long, which is, is pretty cool. And uh, if I forgot to mention this, it I, I had I, I did a custom restore before I did this video because I t before I tested it. But uh, if you already have like let's say you have your phone obviously full of you know data apps all that kind of stuff, it's going to stay. The only different changes Red Snow makes is to the recovery, the boot logo, and it basically will patch it so that you can add Cydia. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, guys, that's about it. Uh, Red Snow, I I definitely like it and uh, works really good. Anyway. Thanks for watching.